Hey everybody, welcome to Go for Green Living Homestead. My name is Daniel. And today, it, I'm going to show you how to build some uh, your solar panel racking that's going to save you a ton of money. A ton of money. I'm not kidding. Uh, you're going to save money on wire, you're going to save money on materials. It's it's really big savings. And, and, and I've tested it for close to seven years and it's working out good. So anyway, uh, I've been asked to to do more uh, explaining on how I how I do things instead of just walking through and, and showing y'all what well, I did this and I did this and there's nothing boom boom. So I'm gonna to walk this through the best the best way I can. And so the first thing I need to, you need to do for uh, uh, you know building your your racking uh, for your your solar panel system is to and put some posts in the ground, concrete some posts in the ground. This is the this is the way that that uh, uh, I I'm doing it cheaply. There's there's better ways with columns, with uh, you know a PVC pipe, with a six inch PVC pipe, with rebar uh, pounded in the in, inside, and then filled with concrete. You know, put your bolts through, and they're just sitting in concrete. So you got it made. So that's better. It's that's how they make the pillars and piers and, and stuff like that so but this is a way that that uh, go for green living homestead could afford to do it <laughs> so I took some took some oak posts some white oak posts because uh, they're, they're, they're gonna last as long as without uh, you know too much damage and I treated them with peanut oil uh, I know you say why peanut oil well it's I've been testing it everywhere all over all over my house and you know all over the solar system just to, to see if it works and it's a cheap preservative and it's it's really got a nice color and I'm really enjoying uh, you know the, the, the look of if you the get your post in the ground then I put a cross beam across and this is a beam that runs from the front to the back uh, of the solar system now this is the support of uh, your your solar system and I use then I use two by sixes and they're ten foot long and on this one this this last one I had to use a two by eight because that's what I had <laughs> so uh, this is definitely you know a cheap uh, racking uh, solar system you know all in one so after I put the the beam across there I, I start connecting it to the other beams that are going across and of course I have to lap and put a uh, scab underneath so that you know that it connects them all so that it's all one system it's all it moves all in one piece is, is what my goal is so after I connect all those the boards that go across so, that, so I can set my solar panels on so then I actually go and I get my solar panels <laughs> and I carry them here and I set them on top and you know when when you have the boards going across it's just easy I flatten out the the solar system so that it, it's easier for the, the just the solar panels just to go up there and sit down and, and not have to you know be tilting forward uh, you know fighting. after I, I level the system out and then uh, I have the L brackets now since the, the wood wood frame of it is wood I use some uh, wood screws decking screws actually so they're they're, they're strong sheer sheer proof and I put in my my L bracket to hold that down now the holes don't match up because these panels are bigger 
than the other panels. I mean, they're big. And a good friends of mine, uh, you know, I, 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 I helped them sell some product, and this was kind of a commission for me to to get these two solar panels, which was awesome, you know, a deal for deal, so uh, business deal. So that's just part of bartering, you know. Uh, but they're awesome people. and But after you get the solar panels on, you put them L brackets on, I just take a, a, a deck screw and I screw it in there, and that secures uh, the bottom part. But then the holes don't match up, so I have to drill a hole, and you have to be very careful about drilling holes, you know, through, through the aluminum because it'll drill so quick that you'll zoom right through the this, this solar panel on the top. So luckily I didn't do that. But after you drill the hole, then I have these little eighth inch bolts and uh, eighth inch by one inch. And uh, they they go through and I put a couple of washers in the nut and then I secure them. So that, and it, they it takes four per solar panel. Now I've tested this for uh, I, seven years like I said and it's working out good my system hasn't moved uh, you see the way that I put the these 45 braces in and just to make sure that you know the the sheer force you know coming from the wind blowing against it doesn't move it back or forth now it's handled up to 100 mile an hour winds it's handled 11 and a half inches of snow uh, you know tons of storms hail ice you know it's handled a lot of stuff So it's holding out really well and it's not it's not budging so after I get my solar panel secured then I can lower down my my solar panel array line it back up to to the best optimal range for for the Sun now I'm showing you pictures and and video of after the Sun is already uh, down so far that they, they don't shine on the solar panels anymore it's just because it took me all day to add this on so that's just where I'm at so uh, you know it is what it is but anyway I, the box that I added onto this uh, this is another big savings for you putting everything in one location saves you a ton on wiring I put my inverter on one side and then I you know have it's uh, separated from the battery bank because the battery bank I have golf cart batteries in there it produces hydrogen and that goes out that way so I don't want to have it near the inverter so we don't want to have any mix-ups there <laughs> so there's two separate compartments two do two different doors I put all the electronics over here and I put all the batteries over here and it's worked out real well so it's just a box and it's roughly two feet by eight feet it's two feet by eight feet this box is it's two feet thick and it's four foot high just the size of a uh, sheet of over feet and I just did that because the materials were easy and 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 actually I should have made it a little bigger so when you make yours to make it a little deeper a little bigger you know uh, but this works out fine you know uh, I just have to adjust the doors a little bit because they they don't want to always close you know a hundred percent so anyway, so putting it all in one there saves you a ton on wiring and everything's right here so you need to work on it. It's right here and then all you do is run your your uh, power out to to wherever you're going and you can run it up to 750 feet and it won't lose uh, your electricity as long as your wire is big enough. You know, you, you have to run the right size wire but you're running 240, you know, well, I only run it like 10 feet there but <laughs> you could run it 750 feet and, and it wouldn't be pushing it too bad because you're just running AC current there you're not running DC current when you put the inverter and your batteries inside I know they're better environmentally protected you have to run really big wire because you're running DC current DC current gets really hot and it it's just goes in one direction y'all y'all caught my video on that about uh, AC or DC so you understand about choosing which one you want so you know AC is just more efficient for modern days it, it won't be that way forever I, I, I don't think but it, just for now so anyway roughly I would say I have a hundred dollars in in this this framing and racking because it's got concrete it's got two by fours it's got OSB it, you know it's it's uh, 
It's got these the posts. I went and got the posts from a, a sawmill. They're they're oak. Uh, you know, it's got those. So it, it's roughly about a hundred dollars that cost me for for all this racking to hang up uh, eight solar panels that I have so far. So I think that's a an awesome deal that's tested seven years and it's holding up fine. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm tired, as you can tell. <laughs> you can see me. I'm wore out. This has been a long day. Uh, but I got it done. Guess what? The next video I do, we're going to install the solar panels into the charge controller and to the battery. So you're actually going to get to see installing solar panels. And I got a special surprise on the charge controllers. If people that have been with my channel know no, I have a special surprise coming up on, on a new charge controller. So, uh, y'all look forward to that and y'all catch me on the next video because I love you. Ani Ove Ocha means I love you, you Bye, guys.